Hey, Reckoners, and welcome back. Today's indie game is Proto Psyche. This, according to the little blurb, is an action adventure game that blends together the gameplay elements of Zelda and Metroid in a sci fi setting. This is a brief demo that features, they claim, two missions, which I think is a little generous definition of mission, but we'll dive into that in a second. Um, in the game, we see this is a demo for a game currently in development. Art, music, and gameplay are all subject to change and are not representative of the final product. And we'll go in. We are playing this with a keyboard. I th think there's controller support. I'm not sure. Uh, we're trying a new game. Very short. Uh, Crash Landing Furion. So I believe the first mission is basically just it's like a pseudo -tuto a pseudo tutorial, if you will. This is us. You can see it's very Zelda-like. Um, and they say Metroid, but. Given the color scheme, I almost feel a bit more like Mega Man. I don't know, Mega Man and Metroid obviously have a fair amount in common. Um, also, a fair difference is I'm not saying they're the same game at all. So, if you get close to this and hit Z, we get into our dialogue. Our character's name is Zen. This, this is a drone. I can use its gun to protect myself. I wonder what happened to it. You place the pistol in your inventory. You can equip it by pressing the RB button or shift for the menu. Okay, yeah. Clearly uh, supports controller. Then pressing the A button or Z key. Hmm, I think I can recharge it using my ship. I should check just in case. So you hold down shift, left to select the gun, and Z to put it on Z. We could use X if we wanted to. I don't want to. Talk to the ship. Maybe I can salvage something. You recharge your pistol using your ship's emergency power. Pistol ammo restored. Now I can run around like a cool kid. See, it's very Zelda-like. That's a thing. It'll ignore you. It doesn't really matter. We can blast away through this ice. Um, as soon as I do have ammo, um, very briefly, you might not have caught it, that second crystal did drop more ammo. Uh, things have a chance to drop five ammo. Let's see if you can see yeah, that chip, so I'll put me right back up to my cap, which is currently 75. So I believe that was just the first mission. The second mission will start in here. We can get full health, and we can get full ammo, but we have both already, so we're just gonna walk around and- What's this? Hello? Is anyone here? The room feels warm. Someone has to- You there! Stop right there! <sighs> yep, someone's here. You- You're going to turn around slowly. Don't make any sudden moves. How's this? Good, now- Tell me why you're here. Look, my ship just crashed, that's it, I'm looking for help. Ha, yeah right, as if you're the first pirate to give me that excuse. I bet your friends are out there right now, waiting to give you the signal to barge in and raid my beloved research lab, is that it? I really don't have time for this. I'm warning you, don't- Ow! You, you took my gun! What are you? Listen. It's been a long day. I don't want any trouble. I just need to get off this damn planet. But right now, the likelihood of you ending up in a nearby chunk of ice strictly relies on whether or not you're willing to cooperate with me. I, well, I guess I don't have a choice. No, no, you don't. Now tell me your uh, now tell me your name, Gabriel. But you can call me Gabe. Gabe, you'll call me Zen. What's your purpose here? I mine minerals here on Ferion. Well. I don't do any of the actual mining, I just build and send drones to mine everything for me instead. And do you ever leave this planet? Do you have a ship or anything else I can use to leave this place? Not really. I mean, there's an, missed an emergency shuttle, but as you can probably guess, it's only for actual emergencies. Gabe, I really need you to help me. If I don't leave soon, the people that shot me down are going to start looking for me. And trust me, you don't want that. I don't know. What to tell you, Zen? I can't just give away my shuttle. Then tell me how I can leave. Do I have to turn this into an emergency? What? No, please, uh, th th there's no need for that. Let me think about this. Well, I don't have the credits to call an emergency pickup, but I know what you can do to help me in return for my emergency shuttle. Go on. See, that's an early prototype for a huge android miner I made during my years as an intern back on Enderon. It's completely automated miner unit with bullet deflecting armor. Reflecting armor. It even has its own energy source that can keep it powered for years. What of it? After my internship, I took it with me to protect me from pirates, but I forgot to unconnect some of my code. Uncomment some of my code. And when I turned it on, it, uh, stormed off on a rampage. <laughs> it's on a constant loop trying to find anything that doesn't match my biosignature and attack it. How convenient. 
bottom line is, it's out there breaking my drones. I'm tired of spending my credits to replace them every month. I guess drones have biosignatures? If you can get out and destroy that mech, I'll let you use my shuttle. Will that do? Alright, I'll handle your little droid problem. I'll be back later. Oh, this is great. Thank you! The mech's last known location is somewhere to the southeast. Good luck! Wait. Hmm? Be careful out there. The cold is not that bad, but keep an eye out for rock slides. Got it. And that's sort of kind of a hint on how to beat the boss, I guess. So it says southeast. You have to cut to the west first. Very misleading. But not criminally so, I would say. Um, so yeah, like right now, we're just kind of going around, you know, a little foreshadowing about things. Pow, pow. Ah, dang it, shoot it. Ah, oh, I took damage. Uh, one thing in this game, I can't really tell super well uh, my health. Like, I got hit just there. A couple times, see? But it looks the same to me? I don't really know. There's not really reason to fight these guys. We found the drone. We're so good. This must be the mech that Gabe was talking to me about earlier. Looks like it just kicked the bucket. What a piece of junk. Huh? Hey, that's a charge mod. I should take it with me. You eject the clip inside your pistol and place it with the modification. You can equip it by op opening the menu and selecting the pistol twice with the A button or Z on the keyboard. By holding down the, the shoot button, you can charge up a powerful blast. Recharge complete. Hostile detected weapon malfunction. Initiating physical defense algorithm. Uh-oh. Okay, so here we got a... Uh, select it. Okay, we got charges. Now, once you're charging, you cannot turn. You can just strafe. There's triply charged. And the way you fight it goes, because an avalanche goes half the screen distance. Come on. Poof. That's an avalanche, which hits him. I'm just going to do this about three times. In fact, precisely three times, assuming they all hit. Uh, each charge shot. Oh, come on. Stop looping, you cad. Consumes five ammo. I've never seen him charge this many times. What a jerk nozzle. Just come over here. I just want to hit you with ice. There we go. That was two hits. Oh dear. And one more. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll get him this time for sure, lads. Oh, he almost got me. Clever. So sneaky and whatnot. And boom. Nope. I don't know why the left side of the screen appears to be completely bugged. Oh, he got me. You're so sneaky, dodging my avalanche like that. There, we got him. Uh, if you run out of ammo, he will start just spitting out ammo for no reason. And one thing that's interesting to note, things that you destroy in this world stay destroyed. For example, there was a robot here, he doesn't respawn... He... oh, well, it. Doesn't respawn when you reset the screen, which is generally a good thing, I think. I mean, unless you're trying to farm something, I guess? I don't know. But now we have the charge shot, we have a shortcut back to base which we will exploit, which is a little interesting because actually, so, if you, uh, if you approach this screen from the top, this screen right here, you, like, hit this edge and you actually can't go through it because the thing's blocking you, but you can't really see that from here, so it's a little, it's a little weird. And we return, and he's overjoyed. Let's get full stuff. So he's full health. Looks the same to me. Full ammo. Obviously, that's clear. You there, Gabe. Oh, hey, you're back. I guess you took care of the mech. I see you have the charge mod I equipped to it. I hope it wasn't too much of a hassle. I handled it. Good, well, a deal's a deal. I'll walk you out and start up the shuttle so you can fly out of here. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here in the first place? Well, I had some unfinished business. Oh, foreshadowing! So I believe, um, I don't think this game's a Kickstarter, but it is currently in development. Um, the link in the description below has, you know, more information as always, a link to download, etc, etc, but uh, it also links to a page, uh, you can follow them on Tumblr, you can follow de development on Tumblr, so, uh, I like the idea, the premise of this game seems cool, I haven't played many good Zelda clones, and this seems like a pretty good candidate, um, obviously, the demo's fairly short if you don't have, like, a super solid idea of what to expect, because a lot of... Uh, what will make this a, a solid good game will depend upon enemy types, um, maybe tightening up, you know, controls or whatever, uh, what kind of items you can get, puzzles, that sort of thing, so, so we'll have to see, um, but for, it's, it's definitely a good start. This demo gives me optimism that this could be a solid game, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>